here I am in the beautiful capital city of Haiti, Port-au-Prince, uh, where most of the population of the city lives. In this city, children are unable to leave their homes and go to school because of the existence of marauding illegal gangs that terrorize the society and uh, use kidnap to extort funds from those who they believe are people of means. In this city, women and girls have been terrorized and been made victims of sexual violence by these gangs. It is a way of operating. This pattern of behavior, this gang culture must stop. And the sooner, the better for the people of Haiti and for the authorities in Haiti. The international community needs to stay engaged in Haiti and to assist and support the Haitian authorities and people in their search for lasting solutions that bring stability, both on a medium and long-term basis. Only two, three days ago, this country celebrated the 220th anniversary of the Battle of Vertier that led to the independence of Haiti as the first independent republic in the Western Hemisphere. That was a proud moment for Haiti, as indeed it was a proud moment for many of the countries of the Hemisphere. I call upon all stakeholders in Haiti, the political parties, civil society, the business sector, the church, to unify in solidarity and to work hard to reclaim Haitian society from the gangs and to put the country on a firm and credible path to democratization. The United Nations is here to accompany the people of Haiti on that journey. But ultimately the responsibility, the decisions to be made about governance of this country belong to and with the Haitian people. No one else other than them can credibly make those decisions. The international community is here to assist and support to the extent that the Haitian people are willing to accept that support. I call upon all stakeholders, therefore, to collaborate constructively, to work together in solidarity for the betterment of this country so that the Haitian people can live their lives in peace and harmony and achieve the objectives of the Sustainable Development Agenda through peace, progress, and prosperity. That is what the international community desires for the people of Haiti. And it is those principles and values that we will work with the Haitian authorities to create uh, on a long-term sustainable basis for this beautiful country, so full of potential. Thank you very much.